Hi Aries, it's L here to do uh, your mid-August uh, general reading. So it's a general reading. It won't resonate with every Aries. It is for Sun, Moon, Rising. Thank you to all of my Aries who support the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Let's get into it. So for the sake of time, I did pull three cards. Uh, but we'll shuffle three clarifiers on camera so um yeah whatever i know people have a thing with cards already being pulled like somebody's trying to manipulate the energy it's really not that deep for me um anyhow let's get into it so we have uh the situation the advice and the outcome for aries okay so, and then we'll look at the card on the bottom of the deck together all right nice we have the lovers you have the lovers you could be dealing with a Gemini if not there is a life-altering choice you need to make some in some aspect of your life family home work career love something has so it's divinely orchestrated with the lovers here it's two things or it's Aries and one thing coming together and all the universe did was the coming together now here comes free will we can choose what we want to do or what will happen in this coming together or in this choice that we need to make it's a choice you make but the universe has divinely orchestrated this um, this situation okay so let's see what the situation is most times the lovers talks about love but it could talk about making a decision over love and career or or trying to marry the two uh we'll see what what's going on here but it's a choice it's a choice um all right the situation is the ten of air wow so This could be an Aries having to make a choice in regards to allowing one one path, one position to end. Uh, it's over. Maybe there was fulfillment here at one time, but it is not now. It feels like a betrayal. Some of you, you have to end negative thoughts, end negative cycle. You have to analyze the the position you've played here uh this could be masculine energy this could be surrounding long-term goals career aspirations uh fame fortune um definitely maybe you could be dealing with um an air sign gemini libra aquarius doesn't have to be but this situation is ending or has ended or you just need to uh, allow the ending to happen the ten of swords it can't get any worse and it looks like it can't get any better you have a choice to make in regards to maybe an ending this is the situation the advice here is the two of of water wow um this can also be in in aries choosing better choosing love okay so this could be an Aries it's like spirit says the situation is the ten of swords the hurt the pain the betrayal the hard times are done it is over do you want to live in that and rest and dwell in that mentally or do you want to come out of that knowing that there is better for you because the advice is the two of water the two of cups uh this could be surrounding money it could be surrounding a mutually beneficial situation or relationship this is this is also a two card so it says that you need to come under some mentorship some spiritual guidance to help you get where it is you want to go you also may have some rep repressed talent uh 
energy that you are you are shunning or, or pushing down because you don't know how to uh, cultivate it you don't know how to grow it so get under some mentorship of someone who can help you foster that energy also Aries it says that you have yet to have what it is you want because of fear of commitment all right hold up there you say no I'm not fearful of commitment granted you're not fearful of being with someone and being committed to them but you are fearful or, or or fear sets in in regards to committing to one path one mental path you may be single you may have been single for an extended amount of time you may have been in a situation that is taxing mentally for an extended amount of time uh, and praying for better and change and, and trying to better yourself in this time period. Uh, but at times you let fear set in and then you're no longer committed to that position of waiting, uh, being patient, uh, knowing that the right person is coming along, maybe even uh, committing to a path of, of self-betterment of um it could even be um something in regards to your appearance so this isn't fear of commitment in regards to oh you know i'm fearful to get married or be in a relationship no this is fear that sets in in regards to you committing to a position it's like you do something for it let's say 10 weeks then you let fear creep in and say fear creeps in and says it's never going to happen for you. You've wasted your time. You wasted your 10 weeks. This is nonsense. This is that the mental game here, right? And then you stray off the path of commitment. So, back to what I'm saying. Fear of commitment. Fear of committing yourself to one position. That is what is stagnating and holding you up from having exactly what you want. This is also uh, stay stay firm to your convictions if you say i'm not having sex with anyone who um doesn't meet the requirements of, of of the of a life partner that i'm looking for or i'm not having sex with anyone who who verbalizes to me that they don't want anything outside of sex stay firm in that in that conviction in that commitment to yourself don't waver don't let anyone waver you okay all right so the outcome here if you take that advice wow is the queen of earth the quintessential uh wife the person who cares deeply about how she she looks how she feels more more so she's very grounded she is into health uh fitness and, and well-being she likes luxury. She can afford luxury. Um, she is the queens are the doers. So she is still um, cultivating an air of groundedness in finances, in health and well-being, in um, uh, beauty regimen, in um, uh, emotional uh, betterment for self. So she's still doing all of those things, but she's at a place of um, a, a level-headedness groundedness she's also you know if a man if I'm speaking to my women if a man has to pick from you know the four queens outside of the Empress the four queens in the in the deck who would be the best wife it would be the Queen of Pentacles she's the most grounded in almost every facet uh, so yeah um the outcome here for you is is groundedness if you choose to commit to stay strong in your convictions of something may be coming or returning back to you the universe is putting it in your face are you gonna make the choice to stay committed to one path this is a choice too so choices and decisions are different decision is completely expelling one option like it's no longer an option like once you make the choice that other 
which made the decision that other option is not ever readily available to you because you've made an incision and then a decision so you've cut away but a choice is different because a choice is um you still have that option readily available you know it's like going to the buffet you walk up though i don't like buffets anyway um you walk up to the buffet and you see everything and you say well right now i'm just gonna have some salad and uh then you go back to your seat well all the other options there on the buffet are still readily available to you you know once you are ready to have them a decision is you walk up to quote unquote buffet and there's two options um and they tell you yeah you you got to choose because we're out of we're, we're taking this one off the the bu quote unquote buffet you know so um yeah you've got to decide here and so you decide to have salad and you go back to your seat and you live with the fact that there are there is no other option i made the decision to have salad so um you have a choice here definitely have a choice a month what it is you you want to do but more so how you think okay so let's get to butterfly oracle cards in regards to what this choice is about and then we're going to uh we're going to kind of drill down on this situation and in the extended reading it looks like Aries, some, the universe wants to bring something into you in regards to maybe relationship, love and romance. Um, maybe even someone from your past. Uh, you, the, the, the universe wants you to think about how healthy y your thought patterns are. What part you play in a situation. The universe wants you to make a choice and stay committed to it because the outcome is great for you. Um, yeah, this may be. This is like some masculine energies, memories. Yeah. So, and it sits on the Ten of Swords. So this might is what keep this might be what keeps you stuck stagnant from allowing an ending support. Some of you may need to talk to someone. Get like I said, get under some mentorship, some guidance. There are supporting people, supporting individuals. Um, get a tarot card reading. Go to a therapist. Go to life coach. Uh, uh, I mean, it's up to you. Family changes. Yeah, and I said that there might be um, a, a choice that you have to make in regards to family, career, all of these things. Um, Family changes constitute so many different things like birth, death, divorce, moving, buying a house, selling a house, getting a cat, getting a dog. I mean, family changes, it's that card is, you know, like a catch all. But anyhow, um, we're going to go over to the website and see what this Ten of Swords is about. I really feel like it's about mentally. Um, allowing yourself to come out of that negativity of the past of what people did to you yes they did it it's over it's done let's move into a new position you say hell that's easier said than done granted it is it takes work I'll tell you that it does but let me tell let me show you um and I, and I don't even really do this much and I should be doing it so um you know, 
what can really help you move forward um, in, in self betterment and uh, and such is uh, I can't, the pink candles are still in the box. I'll just order more of these, but you know when I was going through a situation of trying to release, relinquish uh, the past and and hurt and what people did to me it was lighting. A pink rose first because that's for self love and more so the agape love and, and just the 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 air of love and then the red candles are for romance and, and um, really cultivating a more passionate love into your life and I would do this every night every time I thought to do it and, and you just say um speak your intentions over you light your candles speak your intentions walk away it's not a long drawn out situation here um i saw a significant change so um i would say invest in a pink or red candles yes they are at my website uh, affordable uh also this spread the three card spread this situation the advice and the outcome is six dollars and sixty six cents okay uh take advantage of that also um but this channel is more so about getting you to a place where you don't need to look at this channel anymore it's not your life this this should be one aspect of your life for a certain period like you're going through the spiritual growth and the letting go and the and then you got to you know whatever it is you're getting to so I know we're all going through something now you know it, we all go through something but let these readings whether it be mine or the next person's the next readers let them be if it resonates with you let them be you know informative but also let them help you move into a place of of planning and getting to a better state i'm not a person of just stagnation and just oh yeah let me watch a reading for the next 10 years watch readings and still be in the same place as I was 10 years ago when I started watching readings you know so anyway that's my spiel take advantage I think there's a coupon I will leave it at the bottom in the I'm gonna leave it in the uh, description box we're going over to the website to clarify I really feel like this, the universe is still in Aries like come out of negativity negative thinking situations that yield you no benefit here with other people and you're still trying to hold on due to the memories uh there are supportive people here either in your circle or you, if you need to go outside of your circle what we talked about therapy tarot card readings counselors of those such do that because there needs to be some change within your family some of you this might be rehab this might be something of that nature um anyhow let's go on over let's, let's just get over there it's taking too much time all right thank you guys the link is below for the extended make sure you purchase it especially if this resonates with you make this channel about betterment betterment i just don't want to see my people stagnated and just in the same place it really it weighs on me heavily like well what the heck am i doing this for just for entertainment and if it is for entertainment for you granted thank you because you, you you support the channel but if you are in a tough place let's try to get you out of the tough place not living in the living in tennis a tough place yeah all right thank you guys see you on other